Hi all, welcome to SSL Technologies. Today we will be learning about MS Excel. Basically, MS Office is a package, and in MS Office, we will be having four major uh, contents which are MS Word, MS Excel, MS PowerPoint, and MS Access. So, as you have already learned in IT first year, first semester, MS Word is used for making documentation for typing purpose for typing the letters mail merge and all typing different documents for documentation purpose we will make use of ms word ms excel we will make use of it for doing calculations all the calculations could be done in ms excel only in ms word we cannot do any type of calculations we can do only documentation in ms excel we can do different type of calculations MS PowerPoint, as you all know, it is used for making presentations and MS Access, it is used for storing the data in the database. In MS Access database, we can store the data and retrieve the data. As per our requirement, we can retrieve the data. So, coming to MS Excel, MS Excel is used for making calculations. This is how the MS Excel window looks. Here, name of the file, top row, top row. Here it is displayed as book one Excel. This is the name of the file. This have this is the title bar. Next we will have the various uh, ribbon options tabs. File, home, insert. All these are the various tabs. These are all the various tabs. And below the tabs we will be having complete. This thing is called as ribbon. This thing is called as ribbon. The various tabs of MS Excel are home insert page layout formulas data review view help etc and help so in each and every tab so each in each and every tab we will be having various ribbon options this complete thing is called as ribbon for home we will have different ribbon for insert we will have different ribbon for page layout we will have different ribbon so from, for formulas tab, data tab, we will be having different ribbon options. So in home, what are the ribbon options are? See, first of all, basically ribbon is divided into groups. Clipboard group, font group, alignment group, number group, styles group, cells and editing. So ribbon is divided into groups. And each group will contain various related options to that particular group. See, ribbon, uh, ribbon group contains the related options of that particular group. So, clipboard lo clipboard related options untai. Font lo font related options untai. Alignment lo alignment related options untai. So, home lo clipboard font alignment these are the various groups and each group is divided into various options. Similarly, insert tab will contain various ribbon options. Those ribbon options are separate for insert, home, page layout and all. So, different tabs will contain different ribbon options. Ribbon is divided into groups. Below the ribbon tab, we will be having address area. Here the address, cell address is displayed. And here, this is the content of the cell. We will be learning in the later section what, what is this. Next, coming to the work area of the Excel. Excel is divided into various rows as well as various columns. See here, A, B, C, D, E, all these are the columns of the MS Excel. How many columns are there in MS Excel means 16,384 uh, columns are there. From A, B, E, they, those 16,384 are named as A, B, C, D and all. Whenever you reach the Z, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. Whenever you reach Z, the next column name would start with AA, next AB. Like that, all the column names are named. The last column name would be XFD. XFD is the last column name. This is 16,384th column. So, how many rows are there? So, we all understood that columns are named with alphabets, rows are named with numbers see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 all these are the numbers given to the rows so how many rows are there in ms excel 1 lakh 48576 rows are there 
see here you can check control down arrow i am pressing see here 148576 number of rows are there columns are 16384 those are named with alphabets a to xfd a to xfd a to xfd so these are the number of rows and columns excel is the combination of rows and columns so intersection of row and column is called as cell see this is the cell this is cell e this all these intersection of row and column is called as cell and we enter the data in the cell see here i am highlighting this cell i am selecting one cell by default i am selecting this cell so what is the column number column alphabet given to this cell this is f and what is the row number it is 3 f3 so this uh, cell address cell address would be f3 f column third row here in cell address cell area cell address area we, it is displayed as a f3 f3 means the cell belongs to f uh, column and third row if i select this thing see here i have just selected this one this would be d column and 7 cell so d7 would be the cell address so here there are number of cells in excel but whichever cell i am selecting that cell is called as active cell the cell which i select the cell which i select is called as active cell and we enter the data in the active cell only so if i want to sell write some data here i will first select this see in h4 suppose i want to enter data in a5 the first to enter the data in a5 cell i have to select that cell first i have to click on it the cell will be selected the cell address area would be displayed i can start typing here this is excel i can start typing the data to enter the data in any cell first you have to select the cell once you select the cell then you can enter the data so whatever data you type here that is displayed on this bar this is the formula bar here it is displayed this is excel whatever content you enter see in this uh, b2 cell b2 is the cell area cell address and this is the content of the cell which is displayed here content is displayed here next thing would be here number of sheets the number of sheets in excel are see, sheet 1 if you want to add one more sheet this suppose this sheet is for bcom computers next i want a sheet for bcom computer applications what i'll do is i'll just simply click the plus sign here after clicking the plus sign you will get one more sheet like that n number of sheets you can add you can go on adding number of sheets in ms excel so all these sheets are together in book one workbook this is the workbook in this workbook we are having various number of sheets number of sheets are present in our book one workbook so you can save this file we have entered some data in this if i want to save this file i'll click on file then i'll click on save the file will be saved so basically ms excel for top row would be uh, title bar next ribbon uh, tabs would be there after ribbon tabs ribbon bar below the ribbon bar cell address cell area then formula bar then the work area of the excel work area is divided into number of rows and columns number of columns would be 16384 a to xfd rows will be 1 to 1,48,576. and the cell what we uh, each and every cell will have its own address and the cell which we select is called as active cell and number of sheets we can add in ms excel the number of excel sheets we can add in excel all these sheets are present in a workbook in which uh, we can give the workbook name whatever we want we can give the workbook name and all the sheets are present in that workbook this is the basics of ms excel next we will see the features of ms excel the features of ms excel first one is workbook worksheets Wor uh, workbook and worksheet is the main feature of ms excel worksheet is divided into rows and columns rows since rows and columns are there all the calculations would become very easier in ms excel the next feature is normal and page break view 
that means various views are available in uh, ms excel that we will discuss later so those views are very helpful for viewing the data in ms excel next one is chart wizard we can create charts in ms excel as you all know you have learnt already how to create charts in ms excel but we will discuss once again so ms excel is helpful in creating charts also and mainly functions ms excel is mainly used for making calculations so all those calculations will be depending on the function what we use so there are already predefined formulas are there as well as we can give our own uh, formulas also our own functions also we can our own formulas we can use predefined functions you can use as well as our own formulas also we can use function is nothing but already defined formula is there in the function already defined formula will be there in the function and you we can also give our own formulas also we can insert pictures also in ms excel we can insert the pictures from the ms excel if it is stored in some in our device you can insert the picture and we can do some diagrams also like charts if i want to prepare any charts or any diagrams when diagram or anything depending on the data what we provide we can make diagrams of that data symbols we can insert symbols in ms excel also comments we can write comments to excel we will discuss this in unit 2 or unit 3 i guess we, you will understand then next is spellings spellings uh, also spell check we can do if we do any mistake directly we can do spell check and we can correct the mistakes goal seek is the option uh, where we find a specific value for a cell by adjusting other cells by adjusting other cell values we can adjust the specific cell value this also we have done in first semester in practical questions and we will discuss in later sections next one is formula auditing formula auditing is the option where we can check the function formula how to check that formula is when we enter the function name if we have typed any mistake that will be highlighted in different color so that we can identify that there is some error next one is subtotals we can do subtotals also easily if there is large amount of data like uh, if the data contains marketing hr various groups marketing data is there hr data is there finance data is there like this if different data is there we can adjust the subtotals of each and every group if number of employees are there in each and every area like marketing area few employees are there hr area few employees are there we can adjust the data and get the subtotal for each and every department easily pivot table and pivot chart if a num large amount of data is there we can easily represent it in terms of charts and tables and get the summary of that easily so getting the summaries would be very easier if we make use of pivot tables and pivot charts so these are the various functions of ms excel first would be workbook or worksheets next normal and page break view chart wizard function pictures diagrams symbols comments spelling goal seek formula auditing subtotals pivot table and pivot chart reports next we will discuss other topics in the next video thank you all of you